Yo, what's up guys? First off, before I jump into today's video, I'm gonna be doing a t-shirt giveaway. You know, I announced this in my last video. Definitely go give that video a watch if you guys missed it. But either way, I won a Chicago Bulls t-shirt giveaway, I'd say a week or two ago, and it's a men's large. So if you guys wanna be entered into the drawing, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, leave a quick like on today's video, and leave a comment below today's video. If you guys do all of that, in my next video, I'll be picking a random winner and of course sending you the t-shirt. So yeah, thank you guys for all the support. I just wanted to give back a little bit. I'm gonna start doing more giveaways as well. But no matter what, let's just jump right into today's video. Because an interesting article came out the other day, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Because reportedly, the Chicago Bulls are among betting favorites to land Dallas Mavericks' Kristaps Porzingis. You know, just my opinion right off the bat, I'm going to say, hell no. He's making way too much money. I don't even know why the Bulls would be, you know, in the betting favorites and even linked to him. But no matter what, I'm going to be breaking it down and giving my opinion on that. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about this first topic. And as of Wednesday morning, the Chicago Bulls are among teams that are on the betting favorites to land Kristaps Porzingis. And there's been many rumors for a while now that Luka and Porzingis really aren't the best of friends. They really don't like each other. And of course, they lost in a seven game series to the Clippers a few days ago. And it's looking like the Dallas Mavericks are expected to make a lot of trades and just change in this upcoming offseason, just like the Chicago Bulls. And it seems like Kristaps Porzingis is the odd man out. And first off, I just don't see the Bulls trading for him. I don't believe he's a great fit next to Vooch. I mean, I feel like Kristaps Porzingis and Markkinen are kind of the same player. Honestly, I'd say Lori's better because I believe he could put up this about the same numbers and stats that Porzingis can for about half the price. You know, Porzingis is under contract for $65 million over the next two seasons. He also has a $34 million player option in 2023. He's also been injury prone. He's very inconsistent, just like marketing. You know, he is only 25 years old, and it's looking like the Mavericks are expected to trade, trade him or at least move on from him or try to move on from him in this upcoming offseason. But according to Bet Online, they have provided betting odds for his next destination. They have the Celtics, Golden State, Thunder, Magic, Wizards. You know, I understand all those teams, but not the Chicago Bulls at all. You know, a Dallas and Chicago trade is very unlikely. I don't really see a point to it, but I am surprised that the Bulls are still in the betting odds. I'm not for trading for Kristaps Porzingis. Like I said, he's a poor man's marketing. I'd say he's making way more money than marketing is. And say if marketing does make anywhere from 20 to $25 million in this upcoming offseason, like I expect him to, he's still making way less money than Porzingis, putting about the same numbers up. I just don't see a point in this. You know, he's not the best defender. He's in, he's inconsistent. Honestly, in my eyes, he's just a more expensive marketing. And it's looking like the Bulls and marketing are coming to an end as well. So I just don't understand why the Bulls are connected to Porzingis as, at all. And in a past few of my videos, I have seen a lot of Bulls fans want like say they they should target Kristaps Porzingis. I just don't see the point of that. I mean, if you're playing next to Luka Doncic putting up terrible numbers, I don't see how he could get any better on the Bulls, especially in the playoffs. He was playing anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes a night, and he was barely putting up 10 points in some games and he's supposed to be the Mavericks like next All-Star next to Luka. I just don't see a point in trading for him at all. And the next topic in today's video is of course about Kemba Walker. Not only are the Bulls a favorite to land Kristaps Porzingis for God knows why, they're also the favorite to land Kemba Walker in a potential trade with the Boston Celtics. And I'm going to be honest, I don't see the point in this either. The only reason the Bulls should even try or like even talk to the Boston Celtics about Kemba Walker is say we miss out on Lonzo Ball. Or say we don't land a top four pick and draft a point guard. Say we miss out on a bunch of other point guard options. You know, Kemba Walker would be my last option. And for weeks now, there's been a lot of Kemba Walker rumors. The Bulls have been linked to every single one of those rumors. I swear, any time a point guard is on the trade market or just a free agent, they're pretty much automatically linked to the Chicago Bulls. You know, Kemba Walker's way, making way too much money. He's been kind of injury prone. And he's honestly just on the decline of his career. But the Chicago Bulls might be desperate. You know, Kobe White just went down for four to six months the other day. You know, Bleach Report has been throwing around a bunch of Kemba Walker to the Chicago Bulls trades as well. 
He also missed 29 games in this past season. He was also very inconsistent when he did play. He's already 31. He's supposed to make $36 million next season and has a $37 million player option the following year. I just don't see a reason why the Bulls would trade for Kemba Walker. You know, unless they're giving us another, I'd say, good talent when Kemba Walker and a first round pick. I don't even think the Bulls should at least talk to Boston. You know, say the Bulls are desperate. We miss out on every other point guard option. I wouldn't mind trading for Kemba. He's still a solid player. You know, he's not the best on defense, though. He's kind of inconsistent and injury prone. But say the Bulls do miss out on every other point guard option. You know, I wouldn't be mad if the Bulls had to trade for Kemba pretty much. But uh, they better be getting a first rounder and another valuable piece next to him. You know, on the season, even though he was pretty inconsistent, injury prone, he played v pretty solid when he did play. You know, in about 32 minutes a night, he put up 19 points, shooting 42% from the field, 36% from deep. He also put up four rebounds, five assists, and a steal a game. Like I said, Kemba Walker's, I hope not, like, plan A for the Chicago Bulls. I could see him being, like, plan maybe D. You know, if, say, we miss out on Lonzo, all the other point guard options, you know, I wouldn't be mad if the Bulls did target Spencer Dinwiddie. I'm gonna, I plan to make a future video on him as well. But these two players that the Bulls have been linked to are favorite to trade for or land i'm just not for it i don't see honestly a point in trading for either of these guys they're both overpaid and honestly on the decline of their career like i said with porzingas you know he is 25 but if you can't put up good numbers and play good next to luka donage i'd say one of the best players in the nba and he's only going to get better i don't know how going to another team like the bulls or any other team that's interested in him is going to make him play any better I just don't see that happening. Like I said, Kemba Walker isn't the point guard or target A, I hope. But if the Bulls do get desperate and need a point guard, I wouldn't mind trading for Kemba. But it's just not the best option in my eyes. So definitely leave any comments or questions below today's video. If you guys want the Bulls to trade for Kristaps Porzingis or trade for Kemba Walker, I have seen a few comments here and there about some Bulls fans wanting the Bulls to pursue both these trade targets. But in my eyes, I just don't see the point. They're both too overpaid. Kemba's on the decline of his career. Porzingis, like I said, if you can't play well next to Luka Donage, I don't know what to tell you. But no matter what, thank you guys for watching today's video. Leave some comments and questions below today's video. You know, if you leave a single comment, you're going to be entered into the t-shirt giveaway. Make sure you guys check out my next video. I'll probably post that like Tuesday, I'd say, around 5. I'll be announcing the winner and then I'll have to private message you and get all your information and send you the t-shirt shirt also click the first link below today's video join my discord but no matter what thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one